Hey guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Empire YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how to update uh, PK Hex and uh, Sysbot. Uh, whenever PK Hex uh, pushes a new commit, uh, let's see, like they uh, they updated uh, PK Hex uh, 30 minutes ago. Uh, but if you go and download the release, uh, these latest commits since the release. Uh, are not going to be uh, in here. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to update this, um, throw the files in PK Hex, and update your bot as well. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is clone the repositories for PK Hex and PK Hex plugins in that order. Uh, so we, uh, go to the PK Hex GitHub, uh, copy the code link, and then we'll open Visual Studio and already have them, already have them loaded up here. Uh, so this is uh, PK Hex. Uh, what you're going to want to do is set your uh, version to release, and you can only set to any CPU. All you have to do is right-click the solution and rebuild. All right. And once that's done rebuilding, we have six succeeded, zero failed, zero skipped. Uh, so next, we're going to want to do the same thing uh, for the PK Hex plugins. Uh, so go to the PKX uh, plugins GitHub, copy the source code link, and open it in Visual Studio. As you see, we already have it loaded up here. Uh, so now, uh, before we build it, uh, we'll go ahead and set this to release uh, any CPU. Uh, now we're going to right click on solution, and you want to restore NuGet packages. And it should say it's already installed, blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, and then you're want, going to want to go to your uh, repos. I have a shortcut here uh, for my repos, uh, but to get to it on your computer, if you don't know how, uh, you want to go to your C drive. Go to users, uh, your user. Scroll down to source and repos. And this is where all your repos are here. So you see we have PKX and PKX plugins. Uh, you're going to want to find the one that says PKX. And you want to go PKX WinForms, bin, release. And you want to grab this PKX core DLL file. Uh, just copy it. Uh, next, you're going to want to go to your NuGet packages for PKX. Uh, again, I have a shortcut here on my computer just to make it easier to get to. Uh, but uh, if you don't know how, I will show you. Uh, again, go to your C drive. Go to users. Yourself. And NuGet. Packages. Okay, you can scroll down here and find PK Hex, or you can just click on one and hit P, and it should pop right up. Okay, you can see our latest release. There's 2363. LibNet7 and PKX Core DLL. So you just want to copy, paste that uh, PKX Core DLL file there. Uh, and that's all you need to do that. Uh, from there we'll go back to our uh, plugins uh, in Visual Studio and now we're ready to rebuild. Uh, so again make sure you have it set to release in any CPU. Right click, rebuild solution. And there we go, five succeeded, zero failed, zero skipped. Uh, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Now we just gotta go grab a couple files and put it inside our SysBot folder and inside uh, PKX as well. Uh, so again, uh, go to your repos. Uh, if you don't know how to get to them, uh, go back in the video uh, where I showed you how to go to repos. I'm just gonna click on my little link here. Uh, go to PKX. PK Hex WinForms, bin, release. Okay, uh, and so for PK Hex, um, I usually just grab all of this. You don't have to, uh, but just to make sure everything works as it should, I just go ahead and grab all of it. Uh, so we'll copy that and we'll open up our PK Hex folder and we'll just drop these in there over at the files that are there okay and now for uh, sysbot uh, you're 
going to want to grab this PKX Core DLL and the PKX Drawing Miscellaneous, PKX Drawings, uh, nope, sorry, not that one. So PKX Core DLL, uh, PKX Drawing DLL, Drawing Miscellaneous, and Drawing Poké Sprites DLL. And we will copy those and we'll put it in our syspot folder. Now in order for this to work, uh, you need to have a build version of your bot, not a release version, because uh, a release version doesn't have all these files in here, and if you just throw them in the folder, uh, it won't read them, uh, especially if you're on in, on Net7, where they pretty much have everything just in the sysbot.exe, all these files built into this. Um, so you need to uh, build your bot. Uh, it's the same thing that we just did with PKX and the plugins. Uh, just go to your source code for your whatever bot you're using. This is the basic sysbot that PKX puts out. Uh, so you don't want to download their latest release, uh, which would be uh, this right here. What you want to do is go to the code, and you want to copy the code link, and then open this inside PK Hex, I mean, I'm sorry, inside Visual Studio, and you want to set it to release, and then when you click here, it only gives you any CPU and configuration manager, uh, but when you load up your uh, SysBot repository, uh, it'll have uh, x64, x86, so you set it to whatever operating system you're running on. Uh, most computers nowadays are x64, uh, so that's most likely what you'll have, so uh, set it to x64, and then you just right click and build solution, uh, and then again, uh, you'll just go into your uh, to your repos and whatever your like I use Forkbot, uh, so it would be say Forkbot or whatever uh, bot that you're using, and you'll open that repo and you'll go to the Win Forms bin x64 release, and you. Basically, this will be your bot folder. So you just copy and paste all these files into your bot folder. Uh, and then uh, this method will work. Uh, so like I said, uh, you're going to want to grab these four files out of the PKX uh, repository. Copy those. And just put them in your bot folder. Now this isn't my bot folder because uh, I run my bot on a different computer. Uh, so I just put them in this folder and then I send it, uh, I use this folder to update the files and then I send these files to my other computer and then put it in my bot folder. Uh, so, uh, that's it for PKHex. Uh, now we want to go to our plugins repo, uh, PKX plugins. And the first one you're going to want to grab is the auto legality mod. Then release and you want to grab this auto mod plugins DLL uh, let me move this out of the way, y'all can't see this but let me move it out of the way, alright uh, copy that okay and then in your sysbot folder uh, paste it in your sysbot folder and then for pika hex you want to put it inside the plugins folder paste there we go all right uh, now we'll go back out to our pkx repo uh, pkx plugins and the next one you're going to want to grab is this pkx core auto mod do the same thing bin release and you want to grab this pkx core auto mod dll uh, so copy that Put it into your sysbot folder. And do the same thing with PKX. Just put it inside the PKX folder. And that's all there is to it. Now your bot should be updated with all the latest uh, commits that uh, PKX or the plugins uh, have put out. As always, thanks for watching. I will have a link posted in the description. Uh, for my Discord, uh, where I host uh, free 
Pokemon trade bots. Uh, so if you'd like to come check it out and hang out and have a good time. Uh, if you have any video requests, just let me know. Uh, just uh, comment on this video or message me on Discord.